how one young monkey sparked a cultural revolution. What if a teenage monkey invented a recipe and scientists watched a culture form in real time? In 1953 on Koshima Island, Japan, a one-and-a-half-year-old macaque named Emo picked up a sandy sweet potato and did something no one had seen. She carried it to the water's edge, dipped it, brushed away the grit, and ate. Her mother copied her. Playmates copied them. The beach became a kitchen. At first they used streams, and later many marched into the surf, rinsing and even seasoning their food with salt water. Researchers mapped who learned from whom, noting names and lineages like a family tree filling with cooks. The spread wasn't instant. Through the mid-1950s, the new habit traveled along kin and friendship ties. Older adults mostly refused to learn. Then the pattern flipped. Youngsters born after 1958 picked up potato washing by watching their mothers until it was normal. By August 1962, roughly three-quarters of monkeys over two years old were washers. A second trick appeared too wheat washing, tossing sand mixed grain into water so the kernels floated free. You might have heard the hundredth monkey myth, a sudden mysterious leap of knowledge to other islands. The data say otherwise, no telepathy, just ordinary social learning, tracked step by step. Emo's small act turned into tradition, proof that culture can begin with one clever hand and spread the slow human way by watching, trying, and teaching.